From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealers Sports Desk, here's Jack Bernie. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the IHSAA Girls Golf Regional taking place earlier today at Country Oaks Golf Club in Washington. Several Wabash Valley schools were competing to finish in the top three and get the chance to advance to the state finals. As we take you out to Country Oaks Golf Club for this one, we'll get things started on the sixth hole with South Senior Riley Roscoe. A nice chip onto the green. She would two putt from there. A little bit later, here's Roscoe on the seventh green with a putt for par, and she sinks it. Riley finished with a score of 87 for the Lady Braves. To the 11th hole now, here's Bar Reeve. Bar Reeve won their sectional. It's Liv Emmons with a par putt. She led the Lady Vikings with an 83 as they finished in fifth place overall at the regional. Terre Haute North's Delaney Ferris led North with an 87 for the round as she taps it in on 11 as well. But the story continued to be the Terre Haute South Lady Braves. Here's Avery Castle, who was the low medalist in the sectional with a nice chip onto the green at 10. She finished with a 92. Check out Riley Roscoe's second shot on 10. She gets it onto the edge of the green. Great shot there by Roscoe. That will lead to a par putt for Riley on the same hole. South Presley White tied for second low medalist with a score of 78 for the round as the Terre Haute South Lady Braves advance to the state finals for the first time since 1988 and only the second time in school history. The Lady Braves finish in second place as a team with a composite score of 345. First place Bedford North Lawrence and third place Jasper will join Terre Haute South next Friday and Saturday at Prairie View Golf Club in Carmel, Indiana for the state finals. To the gridiron now, week five of the high school football season in Illinois, now officially in the books. One of the biggest matchups of the week taking place Saturday in Lawrenceville as the 4-0 Indians hosted the 4-0 KZ Westfield Warriors. The winner would take over first place in the LIC. Let's take you to the highlights. The Warriors facing a fourth and goal from the sixth in their opening drive. It's Connor Sullivan who punches it into the end zone for the touchdown to give KZ a 7-0 lead in the first quarter of this ballgame. From there, the defenses took over. Warriors quarterback Nolan Clement trying to make something happen with his legs, but it's Lawrenceville's Luke Hatfield getting in the backfield for the sack as the Indians force a Warrior punt. Warriors defense was equally impressive as Fred Thomas gets to the quarterback for a big time sack on third down. It would stay 7-0 going into the fourth quarter. Early fourth, Casey goes with a trick play. Running back Connor Sullivan throws one down the field. Check out that play by Lawrenceville senior Brian Jenkins. One-handed snag for the interception to give the Indians the ball back. After a Lawrenceville punt, Casey Westfield looking to put this game away, and they put it on ice courtesy of Connor Sullivan, who takes it outside down the sideline, stiff arms the defender on his way to the end zone. 122 rushing yards, two touchdowns for Connor Sullivan in the ball game. Casey Westfield, they win and improve to 5-0 on the season, take over first place in the LIC, 14-0 road win at Lawrenceville for the Warriors. To college football now, the St. Mary of the Woods College Pomeroy Sprint football team in action on the road at Oakland City. The Pomeroys, who won the Midwest Sprint Football League title in their inaugural year a season ago, looking to make it a 2-0 start to this season. First quarter, second and 10 for St. Mary's at Oakland City's 32. Jeremiah Toski shows off the dual threat ability at quarterback. He calls his own number, jukes a defender, he gets all the way down to the one before being pushed out of bounds. Toski finished the game, 130 yards on the ground, two touchdowns for the Pomeroys. Next play, it's Riverton Park grad Darren Hazard punching it in for the touchdown to give the Pomeroys a 7-0 lead. Pomeroys never looked back. They win in dominant fashion, 59 to nothing. They improved to 2-0 on the season. St. Mary's has their home opener next Saturday at West Vigo High School at 2 p.m. And finally, one of the biggest games of the college football season, Ohio State versus Notre Dame. Saw it right here on WTWO. Irish down three. That changes in the fourth quarter. Sam Hartman finds Rico Flores Jr. for the touchdown to give Notre Dame their first lead of the night at 14-10. It stayed that way until the fi very final play of the game. Third and goal, three seconds left. Kyle McCord hands it to Chip Trainum, who fights across the goal line for the touchdown. The Buckeyes score as time expires to stun Notre Dame. 17-14, the final score from South Bend. That's a wrap for sports. We'll be right back.